everybody welcome back to i'll buy the popcorn my name is stephanie thank you all for clicking on this video if you're someone who enjoys talking about film how about clicking that subscribe button so today we're going to be talking about golden globe nominee nomadland Nomadland is a rated R drama indie. It's an hour and 48 minutes long. It did come out on February the 19th. It is written and directed by Chloe Zhao and it stars Frances McDormand. I'm sure I botched Chloe's last name but what's new here right and of course because of the film festival there were already reviews from like four to six months ago or something like that um i did see maybe like three or four reviews like back when um throughout the film festival season from last year so i was really looking forward to this film because i had heard great things about it there was one particular thing that kind of stuck with me and it was and i think all of them said it was um this movie's gonna be known for francis pooping in a bucket so i was honestly expecting it to be like gross in a way you know because i mean it's pooping in a bucket honestly when it happened i was just like that's it like that's what people were bringing up like seriously like I, I just didn't I didn't think it was a reason to bring it up and I'm only bringing it up because they brought it up and they made it a point it wasn't even like a huge point but they kind of brought it up and I don't know in case you've seen you know reviews prior to this who also you know brought that particular thing up honestly it's not even like a big deal to be honest in my own personal opinion it's really not a big deal i mean everybody poops now i do feel like no man land is a very interesting film just because it kind of gives you a perspective it gives you a look into this no man land living the majority of the people that you see who are nomads um in the film are actual nomads so i thought it was really interesting and clever of chloe to incorporate them wondering if the story that they were telling within the movie if those were their own actual real life stories or if that was the script i like to believe that this is their real life story like they're we, we put a, a camera in front and they're actually giving us what they've gone through also gives you like documentary kind of feel the way that it is shot um there are beautiful beautiful shots in this movie the cinematography is absolutely stunning it is a wonderful movie you guys unfortunately i just don't think a lot of people are really going to appreciate it and like it and really kind of stick with it because there's nothing like exciting happening here there's no like suspense there's no thrill there's there's nothing really like you know we're pretty much just here within the movie so i can really see a lot of people thinking that the movie itself is boring it can lag now as far as oscar buzz goes i think it could get five to six different nominations. I feel like the absolute lock-ins would be picture, director, actress, I think cinematography as well, and then it also could get editing and screenplay. Now before I do give you my final thoughts and my score, if you haven't already, go ahead and give this video a like. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that I post something new. I am trying to hit 500 subscribers before the summer, so hopefully you can help me achieve that goal. But overall, I absolutely adored the movie. It's, again, beautiful to look at, you guys. There's great performances from Francis McDermott and from the Nomads, the real-life Nomads. And I, I feel, I'm going to say, I'm pretty sure they've said it before, but of course, I don't know. I don't know um, that these are their actual stories that they've gone through they've experienced so fascinating to hear these stories it does again give you kind of documentary vibes towards the beginning but now if you really think about it it's like who really is missing out one who lives in a house or an apartment or the people who decide to live the no man life because if you think about it they kind of have it better because yes i know some people might argue that they don't have the stability but most of these people are either alone or it could just be like a married couple who maybe you know have lived their life their children are grown and they're able to go out there and explore meet new people and like just travel without having like all these worries of having to maintain your house having to pay these taxes having to do this and that and just really just living your life i mean there's something that's also said in the movie of somebody dies and he has a sailboat that he never got to sell because he was always too busy i mean obviously i'm gonna give nomadland a large popcorn 
if you see no man land let me know down below what did you think about it did you like it did you love it did you hate it was it just not for you um if you haven't seen it yet it's something that you were maybe looking forward to watching have you ever considered about being an old man maybe after this you're gonna be like maybe i should be doing the no man like maybe they have it figured out but that's it for me today you guys until next time i'll see you guys at concessions bye